Are you playing the drums? No. Yeah, you are. Show me. Show me how to play. Wow, you are so good. Whoa. Uh huh. You gonna fix them? Uh oh. You're too much of a rock star. You're already breaking your stuff. What's up, you guys? So today I have a very special video. You want to say hi first or what? Say hi. Hi. Say what is up, guys. Yeah, Seth's so close enough. I'll say, say hi just what's like her. What's up? Say hi just like she. Hi. <laughs> what's hi. up, guys? Hi. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> so me and Michael are about to go to the gym. That's Michael. That's Faith, my little niece. We're gonna go. So I'm going to the gym. This is the first day after the accident. So I'm doing legs today. That's what was on the uh, schedule. So uh, just to be like really safe, I'm not gonna be doing any squats today. So I thought it was a good. Uh, time for me to show you kind guys kind of like a leg day if you're not able to do squats because I know a lot of people just don't have the mobility for squats or just don't want to do squats so um, I figured I could kind of show you guys a leg day without squats um, I'm gonna do stuff that doesn't really involve my lower back as much just to make sure you know just to be as safe as possible so that's what's going on do you have anything to say Michael? Swole Patrol baby! There we go! <laughs> I want to show you guys this is what I this is actually what I do to warm up for squats But instead today this is gonna be like my main kind of like squat exercise. So we're gonna be doing uh, They're called goblet squats. There we go for some reason I can't remember So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold a dumbbell like in your arms right right here on your chest And you squat down it, it's a lot easier It sounds a little bit hard like you feel like you're gonna fall forward But it actually because it's like counterbalances it, it helps you stay upright a lot easier so we're gonna do probably like four sets of 12 of this, me and Michael. Michael's here, looking super slow. And then we'll move on to the next exercise. The main thing about goblet squats is that you wanna make sure that you're keeping your abs really tight. You're gonna get like a, you should feel it a lot in your abs and then your quads. You feel it a lot in your abs and your quads. You wanna keep your abs tight so you're not bending over too much and like flexing that lower back. Cause that's when you, you can come, you can go, it's fine. Uh, if you're like, that lower back is moving, that's when you can get injured. So just make sure you're keeping your abs, your core really tight, your abs really tight, and you'll feel, you'll feel it. It's a great workout, they're awesome. So now we're gonna move on to Bulgarian split squats. Main thing with Bulgarian split squats, first off, these are gonna suck. These are terrible, they feel awful. I mean that in a good way, kind of, but they really, they just kill. They really, really kill. Um, the main things I would recommend is make sure that you're keeping the weight and the heel of the foot that you are kind of going up and down, the one that's not resting on the bench. That's the biggest tip I could give people. And then just keep your abs tight. You wanna keep your core tight. Just try to stay up as much as possible, stay upright, straight. Um, these are gonna suck. They, you're gonna feel them a lot in your glutes and in your hamstrings. They suck, but they're totally worth it. I'm telling you, I can squat for like three hours, but if you tell me to do Bulgarian split squats for more than four sets, I'll probably cry a little bit. So these are awesome. If you are you know, worried about squatting, you don't wanna do back squats, awesome, awesome alternative. Common misconception with leg press is that you can like, you're, you're not gonna hurt your back like, if you do it, which is not true. So it's really easy to hurt your back if you're doing leg press, so that's why I wanna kind of explain how I do it. So, a lot of people, they'll leg press, and when they get down, they'll kind of like lift their butt up, and that's how you can kind of mess up your spine. So what I always recommend people to do is make sure your, your feet are, you know, in place where you want them to be, and then you want to push up. Most important thing, this is what I recommend to everybody, grab the handles or whatever, and, and you want to pull yourself down when it's coming up. Pull yourself down so your back isn't bending at all, so it's just staying straight. And another thing, when you get to the top of the movement, notice how my knees aren't locked out. They're still a little bit bent. You never want to fully lock out your knees because you run the risk of just really messing up your knees. So make sure you're pulling yourself down and really driving up and not locking your knees out at the top. Those are my tips for leg press. to do some 
seated. So I'm about to do some seated leg extensions. Uh, the, the tips that I could give on this are pretty similar to the leg press. Just keep your butt on the pad, so pull yourself towards the pad you want to pull yourself, because if your butt's moving around, you're not really hitting your quads as much as you could be. So make sure that you are pulled down into that pad and that you're making sure that it's all your quads that are doing the work, not like your whole body's flailing up and down. So those are my biggest tips on this. So there you guys go, a very simple leg day that you can do if you're not able to do squats or you don't want to do squats or you're just like, yeah, you're not able to do squats. Michael, how are you feeling? Don't do leg day. <laughs> Ever? That feels fantastic. You feel good though? Yeah, it felt great. I loved it. Yeah, it was fun. Michael doesn't, Michael just started getting back into the gym, so I thought it would be great to, you know, show him this kind of leg day and, um, you know, because doing squats can be really dangerous if you, if you don't have someone. Obviously, if we did squats, I would be able to be there and show him, but I just wanted to show him this leg day and it was, it was really good. So. If you've never tried out a leg day or you're kind of scared to do squats, definitely recommend doing this leg day. We just got back to my house. I'm going to shower up and then we're going to get some food. After the gym all showered up, I, I told you guys we were going to eat. And I wanted to take Michael and you guys to this place. It's called the K Grill. So it's kind of similar to like Flame Broiler if you know what that is. I really like it and I think honestly like for the, like the macros that you get on the food, so like for the calories and stuff, I think it might be a little bit better than Chipotle. It's really, really good. It's right behind us. We just got here. Are you excited to eat this delicious food? Very excited. How one to excited about this food? How excited about this like food? Like one to ten? Yeah. Like probably eleven and a half. Probably. That's really yeah, excited. Yeah, though. I'm excited. I'm. I hope it lives up to your expectations. Yeah. My legs still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good. the anticipation feel I, I was can you can you handle it like can you this. handle it just, are you about to explode i'm about to I'm like excited, my right? mouth is just like uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that what'd you get what'd you get to drink i got a sprite zero a they have this they have this really cool like machine right here let me show you that so it's like this soda machine that you click on whatever you want so say you want these are no calories you see all the different options so you say you want I want coke zero so you click coke zero right if, if it will work and then you can choose whatever flavor you want of coke zero so it's really cool I already have something to drink at home so I didn't I didn't need to get anything but Michael Larson decided to get some strawberry Sprite Zero. Swole Patrol. Swole Patrol. You're too buff, bro. <laughs> so here's what I got. I got chicken, vegetables, and then I got brown rice. So it's pretty good. And then I just got like some teriyaki things on the side, little teriyaki sauces. It's pretty good. It's, it was on sale for $4.99. So that's why I say it's kind of like better than uh, Chipotle. If you go in at the right time, you can get it for pretty cheap. And then Michael got... <laughs> Is that how you hold your food all the time? That's how I hold it. It's so beautiful. I got, Michael got the same. same. What'd you get? What'd you get? Tell I got the same thing. I got teriyaki chicken with vegetables and everything, but I got white rice. Cause you're, cause you just, cause you just. Don't I just care. love John, and I just love to get the same thing he does. Oh, you're just so <laughs> nice. We're gonna go ahead and eat this up. Are you excited? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look what I got you. I got you a box. Yay! Yay! Go go Thanks go! Got a box. Faith, go out of the box. Go, Fifi, go. See you later. Ow. Bye. See you later. Oh!